Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Chevy Boy back on the channel, and we are finally back, um, you know, for like the first time in, you know, two, three weeks, maybe a month, on Demolition Derby 2. So, um, they actually have a new update here, and notice there's, uh, a new car and minor fixes. So, what you're looking at, so here, um, so, <laughs> I feel really honored, by the way, um, and if Frank, uh, EK Drifter 458, if you do end up watching this, I can't believe that, <laughs> um, not only, you know, did you dedicate your, uh, 1977, 78 Trans Am build and Need for Speed Payback, you know, to me, but, I mean, you name-dropped my channel and everything, so I really appreciate that. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to look at new cars that were brought into the game. Um, so the Alfa Romeo, Supra, they did a forklift, which that's pretty cool. I'll drive it around really quick and show you guys. Um, but it's not, you know, so I mean, you get, like, the cage, basically. You know, it handles really, really oddly. You know, it, it does. It handles really odd. Um, you know, they dropped this probably over a month ago. I think when they dropped this... Um, was when I went over to my cousin's house and I was able to upload, um, a couple of other videos. So there's that. And it doesn't even have the handling bar on it, which is kind of messed up. Um, and then there's this thing. This is a Lan uh, Lancer Evo, so they called it a Lanvo. It's not really my type of car, but I'll show you guys how this thing handles too. I don't know why, like, you're staring at the center. Normally it's a hood view, but I guess that doesn't exist in this. So. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it handles relatively decent to the other cars, I suppose. You know, so, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not buying it. Not a fan of Lancer Evos. And then you get this car, which I think is a Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Looking at the back of it and everything, at first I was like, those look like a second-gen Camaro he uh, headlight set. This screams Mercedes, so I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm betting it's a Mercedes sedan, um, which is interesting to say the least, but I don't know. I don't know if I should keep it or not. Um, or if I should actually buy it, I mean. So... I don't know, Mercedes, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I like the SLR McLaren, but that's the only, you know, Mercedes that I really, really like, was the SLR, you know what I mean? So, I'm not really into the sedans or anything, so, I have no idea. Can I hit a cop car? No, it's a taxi cab. Where are the cop cars at? There's one. Shatter the window. <laughs> oh my god. This thing, if I take a hit from a cop car, or actually no, if I hit the cop car, it's guaranteed to shatter the windows, watch. Eh. I mean, not right away, but it shattered them. So, <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. I don't know, I'm still, you know, waiting on my fourth generation Camaro, so. Um, ooh. That looks like a Ferrari of some kind. I'm gonna go out and speculate that this is like an Enzo Ferrari. But, ooh, it's yellow. It looks like an Enzo Ferrari or something. Or like an FXXK or something. But seriously, Beer Money Games, like, come on, you guys. Where's my Camaro at? You know, my, my fourth gen. I mean, you have the second gen Trans Am. You have... The third gen Trans Am. You have... A first gen Camaro. You know, you have a second gen B body. You have a freaking Chevy pickup. You know, you had a third gen Camaro, I thought, in the game otherwise. You got two square body Chevy trucks. You got a, you know, a Bel Air. But you don't have a 4th gen F body. You've got a 1st, 2nd, 3rd, but not a 4th. Where's my 4th gen at? You know? Uh, but no, basically, yeah, now I'm going to... Oop, I'm going to do a race. After I do a pursuit... With this. So... You know how you guys been... Like I said, I know it's been a long, long, long time since I've posted. Um... A DD2 vid, you know, so... My apologies. This cop is being a doofus. This cop is being a doofus. How fast can I get this up to? I can't remember. No, I really, um, I really loved the, the race build that EK Drifter did on the, um, the Bandit Trans Am, but, uh, you no, know, and he put, like, side exhausts on it and stuff, and he put this really nice, uh, wide arch kit on it. He took the, um, the, uh, Firebird decal off the hood, the Fire Chicken, and replaced it with... Um, actually, no, I, I mean, it, it, it's affectionately called a screaming chicken by Firebird fans, but, um, yeah, it's affectionately called a screaming chicken, but he put a, the 70 to 70, like, two or three, um, you know, twin, like, snorkel scoops or whatever on it, so. I mean, that wasn't a bad choice, you know. And he put like these, you know, roulette um, style wheels on it. And I was like, no, man, keep the stockers. But, you know, I mean, to each their own, I guess. Um, but yeah, now we're going to go for a race here. Inner circle, no. Tunnel turn, no. Dirt figure eight, no. Dirt oval, no. Tunnel blast, no. For downtown loop, no. <laughs> Parking ramp launch. Oh, homeboy, slow down. Dude. Jeez. Uh, lazy 8. You know what? I'll do the lazy 8. And I'll do... What? Come on. Okay, for some reason the lap counter thing didn't want to work right away. Um, and I'll do 9 opponents. should be about a minute per lap. And the reason I'm doing it in the county, um, you know, is because I like doing it out here because, you know, it's it's dirt. You know what I mean? And you really wouldn't see a Smokey and the Bandit, you know, film without it being on dirt, so... Yeah. Because, you know, Smokey and the Bandit is kind of like 
Uh -huh. um, what Dukes of Hazard is for you know Mopar fans, you know to to Poncho fans or Pontiac fans. So, oh, you little bugger, get back here! No, I was talking. I've been talking to my friend Hearst's Rock a lot, like over the phone and stuff. And uh, he and I both agree that Pontiac, um, when they came out with the Turbo Trans Am, and I believe it was 80 and 81, that they really should have um, put the Pontiac 400 in those cars and turbocharged them because their 400 was the biggest motor that they had. And I feel like Pontiac might still be around if they hadn't ditched the old 400 motor, you know? I really would have liked to see that, but obviously Pontiac is dead, and, you know, we don't have a DeLorean, sorry, Trans Am, but, you know, uh, you know, and, oops, oh my gosh, dude, yeah, no, I don't know, like, I really, I, I mean, I was telling him, you know, I was like, you know, why would they go with, I think it was like a Pontiac 301 or something that they decided to put the turbo on for the Trans Am, you know, for the second gen cars. And then the third gen turbo Trans Am in 89, they had a Buick 3.8 liter, which was basically the Grand National motor. And I was just like, you know, they could have done a lot with that motor. Like, a lot more than they decided to do, basically, because... The Grand National Motor Buick, you know, had even said to them, you know, to Pontiac in the late 70s for the first generation of the Turbo Trans Am. You know, they're like, hey, you know, you can use this engine. And Pontiac's like, no, 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 you know, we're, we're not going to use your engine. We'll just use our 301 because they had phased out, um, I think they had phased out the 400 by then. Which is a shame because... That Pontiac 400, that 6.6 .6 liter, you know, if you're not American, um, or just don't understand cubic inches, because, you know, you your folks buy brand new cars, and cubic inches are just not in your lexicon of uh, terminology. Um, you know, that 400, that 400 made a lot of torque, and quite a bit of horsepower. And I feel like even with, you know, the 1970s, you know, uh, stringent um, fuel economy, you know, requirements and everything, I feel like that Pontiac 400 could have done a lot of damage if it had a turbocharger on it and would have made both Ford and Chevy step their game up, you know, but... It's not like I can jump in a DeLorean and just be like, oh yeah, no. I mean, trust me, if I could, I would, but I can't, so. 175 across the line, not bad. $53,000, nice. Um, but no, I took the flames off, because, I mean, they looked kind of tacky, and I'm like, nah. And I put these wheels on it, you know, because the turbine style was getting a little bit old. You know, I had, uh, which ones did I have on it? I had... Oh, where are they? I had these on it, and I'm just like, eh, no. No. Wasn't feeling those. I thought about those. I thought about these. You know, but then I settled on these, because I was like, you know what? I put them on the Grammy, but I'll put them on here. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys like the car blacked out and everything. Um, but, you know, let me know what you guys thought about this. Um, I will leave... Uh, EK Drifter's uh, Firebird customization video um, that he did. I think he did it on Sunday, and today is um, it's 1:52 a.m. on Tuesday, the 28th. So he did his video on the 26th um, of August. But yeah, no. If you guys did enjoy this video, let me know. Um, go check out EK Drifter's video, you know, like I said, I'll put it in the description. Um, but if you guys are brand new to the channel, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share the video around with anybody, you know, that might like my content. Um, Facebook, Twitter, you know, the whole nine, basically. Um, 
But yeah, no, I make a lot of Demolition Derby 2 videos. I do Pixel Car Racer. Um, I will get back into Pro Series Drag Racing because I just, I just downloaded that game again. And I figured out my problem, you know, with the game and why I couldn't beat the times and everything. So if you guys want to see that, you know, let me know and I'll post a video up soon in the next couple days after this video goes up. So but if you guys did enjoy this, let me know and I'll catch you down the road. This is Chevy Boy signing out. Peace, y'all.